What's up guys? It's AJ with Damn Skiffy. I think uh, everybody can relate to the background here and see that uh, you never really have enough room. So we usually keep all of our fishing rods down in Audrey and Jeff's garage down the street from the shop here. And uh, we're trying to get everything straightened up, make it a little better, not so much of a, of a hassle to go in there and try and get some rods out. Because this morning when I went to dig these out, it, it was a little bit of a pain, you know? So we got all of our offshore rods here that uh, we've got all our spinning rods and then all our trolling setups. And then of course we've got our extra couple for doing a little bit of light bottom if we we're out there. And uh, we decided that it's time. It's been, it's been time to build a rack. And it probably took me 10 minutes to dig all those out this morning. And we've, we're trying to be, get better. And I think everybody can relate to that, that you know, they're, they're fishing rods, they end up putting them into an area and then there's not enough storage, they get tangled up. You reach in there, you're trying to move them around, you get hooked. That's always a pain. So if you follow along, I'll show you step by step and uh, I'll go ahead and get started here. And I started laying out on the bed here and you can see my marks, you know, every six inches I've got some marks here and when i had the two rods up here you're gonna have to forgive me here because uh i've got nobody here to help me film but when i uh when i decided i was going to put them in here i was thinking about putting them sideways right then i said well why not just spin on this way and then try and put the other one try and put the other one right here by it and you know there's a little bit of room in between there space when that thing would stand up straight so I think that's the plan. I'm going to try and make it about six inches apart to where we have just enough room to, to stack the rods, you know, four deep. And then the next row we'll try and do five. And then the next one we'll try and do four across and then five across. And that way we can get some of these other rods we got because we've probably got another 20 rods down the road. But here's our, uh, here's our PVC that we've got that we picked up. And I'm going to use the chop saw because it's a lot easier to use. To, cut everything with that but i'm gonna get started here and just see if i can't uh see if i can't make something happen all right so here's the start i got all four of these cut and when i was putting them on i just took the tees and i turned it over on the bench and i used the bench as a flat surface and then i thought to myself i said you know what self probably should have put those in i got one that's just barely off from the other and just to mess it up a little bit but it's okay it's going to be in the back side. So I'll, when I went to do the next ones here, I've added the other piece in so that when I glue them together, it's got something I can push all these down and make that to where it's one nice straight piece. And then of course, don't forget, anytime you're working with pipe stuff, right? Like this isn't on there. You got to be able to slide that together. So it's not like you could, if you already had this glued on here and you started working your way across, you get over here, you're going to have an issue right so uh, I'm gonna put the whole piece all the way across like this one is and then I'll just slide everything on as one shot on the sides and that way we'll have our next layer and I was gonna offset them to each other but actually it's gonna work out just fine exactly how it is and then it'll just slide right back into our little section of area that we have down the road for the rod storage all right as you can see we got a we got a couple of rods missing from out there because we've been able to stack them up inside of our our nice neat rod rack so i've got uh i've got all the smaller reels they've got a nice little gap between them and you know they got about two inches in between there but when i went to measure it out to see if about the 50s the big 50s they, they'd be right up against each other you know so i said well, let me give it a little bit extra. So instead of being six inches between uprights, it's seven inches. So that five inch piece in the middle, because you know the take out of the 90s, an inch each. But um, we've got a slight problem. And I thought about this when I was doing it. And I said, you know what? I definitely know how this is going to end up happening. And things are going to be all twisted up and goofy and cattywampus. And that don't look good. So, I got a bolt, and the bolt's going to lay across here. Obviously, it'll be drilled through down lower, but, uh, you know, that's a full shank. 
So that's going to be a smooth surface for those to sit on. So it's not going to be the bottoms of the rods aren't going to be sitting on a threaded surface. And then just as they sit there and they just go back in there, you know, start tearing them up. So I know that first thing my uncle told me when I got all of my rods, he said, take all these rubber caps off. They're garbage. Don't use them. So every one of my rods, we have the rubber caps removed so that we can use them in the rod holder. Now, this thing sits all the way down in, and it's sitting all the way to the bottom. So my thought was, I didn't glue these uprights in. Because if I just drill that hole through, and I put that bolt through right there, I can drill through, and this is Schedule 40 PVC, so I'll probably just drill through the one side, thread the other side, and make it to where that bolt threads into the other side, and don't have to use a nut. But if you do want to use a nut, you know, you can, obviously, and that'll hold this thing in too. So, but it looks like we're gonna have plenty of room. Now, I did decide that I'm gonna leave an open end. I'm gonna do two more layers of rods, but I'm gonna leave that end open on each side. Because when we wash our rods down and they got that little bit of moisture and it's sitting there and it starts to run down and it's gonna sit down there in the bottom, now it's gotta drain, we ain't gotta worry about it. So, but yeah, I figured if we got, you know, everything sitting nice and pretty, when we go to oil all of our rollers, you know, just roll right up, go right to them, you know. Go right to every one of your roller tips. Oh, let's focus on that. There you go. So, I'm fixing to uh, finish up. I'm going to make two more rows, and then I'm going to start drilling. And I'll see if uh, Jeff's at a birthday party for a kid uh, with all the, the family. So, we're going to try and get this thing finished up and then have Jeff help me put it back into the garage when they get back. Well, we got our bolts in down there and we uh, threaded them in through there. And you can see, like right there, you can see it. It pulled that PVC tight to it. And now I go to grab a hold of one of these and you ain't spinning that baby. You ain't spinning that baby nowhere. It's sitting perfect. So here I am right here I, uh, I drilled all the way through with one size drill bit, all the way through both sides, and then I'm going to come back on the other side and open her up. But you can see we're tapping her in there with quarter 20, and it's working perfectly. So I'll get this next layer ready, get it put on there, and then we're going to get this thing put in tonight. Well, as you can see, it's dark outside, and I got some PVC in my beard. Oh, well. But we're done. We got this thing all put in here. Let's widen this view out a little bit. So the bent butt, that'll go there, and it's got enough clearance. I can move this handle around and uh, be able to put another rod in right there. This one, we had to offset it in because the space that we're sliding into is just right. So as you can see, we got all of our trolling rods set up to the front. We've got our all of our spinning rods over here we got our little bit of extra offshore stuff there and uh we're fixing to take this thing down the street and go ahead and slide her in so one tip i was going to say before you uh were run out of here already so one tip that i've always learned from my dad was turn the bottles upside down like that for your pvc glue turn it upside down like that and then when you go to use it again all you got to do is maybe smack the edge of it over here like smack the edge of it with a hammer or something and then you can spin it right off so just a helpful hint there but i'm gonna get this thing loaded up let's get her down the street let's see what uh let's see what she looks like so as you guys can see we got it in here we got all of our offshore rods in it and we got uh we are in our minimal space here right and it sticks out just a touch but that's perfect it, it's absolutely fine because we've got plenty of room so you can see we've got all of our our uh, bent butts in we have the bolt down low so it's holding those in straight everything's held in straight you can see we're not we don't have any swing on any of these so the other thing like i said you can come right up here ba bam ba bam ba bam ba bam go to every single one of those rollers and be able to grease them so our total cost on this in PVC was about $120 for all the inch and a half schedule 40 PVC. 
and for the bolts they were like 35 bucks but it was for 50 bolts so i've still got some up the street so we can use them for future projects whatnot whatever and it was cheaper to buy it as the bulk box from ace hardware than it was to just buy them individually so what do you think buddy well, it's definitely more clean and organized um we just now gotta you know figure out what we're gonna do with all of these yeah we got quite a few inshore rods, but it's okay because uh, we've got we've got that corner right in there, and I think what we're going to do is make us a nice little skinny slide in to where we can slide it in there and bring it out, put it on casters. And that was one more thing I was going to add. Uh, when we have this here, you can put caster wheels on the bottom of this thing and be able to slide this thing in and out and not have any worry about you know having to get to the back or whatever. We're just going to leave it sit on the ground because it's just easier for us for the moment. But, you know, it's just an idea. Add caster wheels and whatnot. So, anyways, hopefully you all like and subscribe and uh, have enjoyed seeing the, the progress here. Um, this is our, our first real video that we're putting out. And we're hoping that we can grow this channel of Damn Skiffy and, you know, just show odd and end things like this. Uh, small little projects. Any input that anybody watches this video has, please feel free to, to share it. You know, anything that we're doing that we could do better, you know, we're starting out and just, you know, let's, let's see if we can uh, make some improvements here. And with y'all's help, I know we can. So that's us signing off. Thank you.